Hi everybody. Thank you so much to all of you who viewed last week's video on my sunflower painting. So I thought I would do a proper intro for this new sunflower painting that I'm going to share as a support for my fundraiser that I'm doing for Ukraine. I wanna continue on this sunflower journey so I can help you all paint sunflowers. And I hope that you all are painting your sunflowers selling them for a lot of money and donating that money to a good cause. So thank you so much to those of you who are doing that. And I want to help in any way I can. And the best way I know I can help is to help you all paint beautiful sunflowers that will sell. And so here is another full, real time, very easy sunflower tutorial for you all to enjoy and also hopefully give back. So thank you so much for doing that. Let's get started on this sunflower painting. I'm going to start out by warming up because I'm kind of nervous about this stem. I don't want it to look too stilted. So I am going to do a little bit of warm up. I'm going to use this new tape I'm trying. I'm trying so many new tapes. I'm still on the hunt for something I really, really love. What I might do is just use a spray bottle of water like this. This is my Everett's watercolor, watercolors dot spray bottle. So I've got several of them. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna dot on some water. Let's see what kind of effect this has. If you just dot some water on, which will force us to loosen up. Let's put a few sprays up here too so we keep our sunflower nice and loose too. That just forces us to be loose. So that's just an experiment. I don't know if that's gonna work. But anyway, I've been heavily influenced by Dean Krauser on Etsy. And I've got several of his, of his paintings pulled up off screen of my camera here, but so that I can easily look at his pictures to just help me remember, stay loose and keep it dynamic. So relying heavily on Dean Krauser's work to help me. It's almost like he's my little side coach here. And I'm gonna keep my paint strokes nice and gestural. Look how gestural that is. I didn't do any kind of underdrawing, which I probably should have. Now Shada Campbell has a good trick for drawing flowers. And what she does is she just, she paints a, a circle first, lightly with pencil, so she can see where the boundaries of her flower petals should be. So that's a really, really good way to kind of have a dynamic flower. See how I'm just making a gestural stroke and then getting out, okay? running out of yellow, so now I'm gonna get my other palette because I wanna keep working quickly. I think this is my Indian yellow. It's acting like Indian yellow, or it might be my cadmium. It doesn't matter. Look how gestural that looks. That really does look good. You just have to be brave. All right, and then, in the interest of time, I'm just gonna drop in a burnt sienna center because I don't want to spend time mixing because I want to drop this in. So let's say there's just a center right there, right? I'm really scrubbing. Getting, now I'm gonna get some junk on my palette to get some cream consistency, very dark. So I can give this some dimension. Going into my palette, just getting junk off my palette for the dark so that I can give this center some dimension, okay? And I just put that in. Look how pretty and gestural that looks, you guys. So remember, when I painted in these petals, I just, sometimes I use the side, sometimes I use the tip. I kept my brush 
moving so everything stayed really gestural. Let's see what happens if we just drop in a little bit of red. So I completed that petal there. Want to overwork it? It's like, oh, I don't want to work it. And you just want to keep it really. And then, what I'm going to do to loosen it up even more, put a few splashy splashes. And another thing Dean Krauser does, I saw him do this in a video, is when everything's still a little wet like this, like you got to pick a place that's kind of half dry, take clear water, clean out your brush really well, I'm going to clean it out, and you just kind of smear it. So let's see what would be a good smear, I think this one would be a good smear one right here. So I'm going to try it, so you just kind of obliter obliterate that edge. Maybe the wind is blowing it in there. So you just kind of lose some edges by smearing them. Don't overdo it though. That's enough. All right, now we've got our, as this dries, you can go in and drop in more cream consistency paint to really pop out a little bit of dark where there might be a shadow. And let's do a little bit more splashy, splashy. And then I'm gonna get a lot of water and then put my paint brush this way and get a little bit, maybe hopefully a different little bit of a splash, but no, it didn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna get a big puddle of water. Okay, so there's that. Now, later after this dries, we could probably go in and define, redefine a little bit in here if we wanted to. We might not want to though. Okay, now I'm gonna, this is half wet. This is going into buckling stage. You can even see it buckling. I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna go spray, spray to loosen it up even more and then put a few more sprays down in here of clear water with my Everett, Everett's Watercolors Dot Spray Bottle. Tom Lynch has them. Let's do the stem, and then I'm gonna mix my own green. I'm just mixing my Daniel Smith, is it Daniel Smith or Holbein Ultramarine Blue? All right, I'm gonna get my yellow really activated and get a lot of water in that well. And this is nice and activated now. And then I've got this kind of pile of, show this to my other camera. This is Holbein. Oriolan. And so I just, I think I'm going to go in first with really light paint and let's go in with a different color though and put a all right, that's good. That's good, I don't wanna mess it up. I do want it to look a little more green though, so I'm gonna drop in while everything's wet. But let's get a bit of a shadow right under in here. Let's get really, 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 really thick cream consistency paint that we can drop into this wet. That's pretty, just. You want to vary your strokes. Splashes. Like maybe the wind is blowing and just really add some dynamic. I'm going to let all this dry and then I might put a little definition, not a lot. Let's let it dry. All right, now I have no reference photo for this, but I do feel like this area right in here needs a tiny bit of definition. So I'm going to get some very 
tea to milk consistency paint on my brush and just do a few, a couple little marks. And I'm gonna get the extra water out of the heel of my brush and just Now I'm going to get a different color with some more red in it. So I've got an orange. All right. So you can see Now I might play around with putting some brush out. So I'm gonna put some water in here and I'm gonna get my brush out. I'm gonna use my favorite moss green and to open it, you just pop the top like that and get an old brush, any old brush would do like this that you can dip in. I dip it in the, I dip it in the brush o tap it off once tap it a little bit and that's it and I might give it a little spray sorry about that I wanted to go get a spray bottle that's more misting and not splattering because I want to just mist this brush and just get it a little bit softer but I don't want it to smear and now I will go in and get some milk Oops, I just painted my, <laughs> I just painted my, yeah, that just happened. I just painted my drapes, so that probably isn't good. I probably should spray it with some detergent, but I will get to that. First things first, right? <laughs> All right, I'm just getting this pretty watery, milky consistency. I'm going to put a few more defined burnt sienna splashes. And I'll put a few more green splashes down here. And I think we can call this done. I don't think it needs a lot of overworking. Let me go get some uh, detergent real fast. Let's get this thing signed and call it done. Let's take off the tape though. Thank you so much for joining me for this sunflower tutorial. And if you would like to support me or my channel or my cause, please check out the description below for links how you can join my Patreon, which really helps me grow this channel. I wanna do this for a full-time living and not have my family laugh at me. So it really helps when you join my Patreon and show me a little support, even if it's at the $3 level, which you still get quite a lot of content at the $3 level even. Come and join the fun. We have a great time. It's a great community and you get more direct access to me. Come join the fun. I hope to see you there. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you enjoyed this sunflower tutorial. I had a blast with it. And now go watercolor your world. Bye everybody.